Hello and welcome to Quick Looks at the Casual Hour. My name is Bobby. Joining me for this quick look of Pentiment is Chase Kinnicky. And I have a story to tell you, Chase. Well, don't leave it pent up. Hey. That's bad. That was pretty bad. Hey. What? Pentiment. A game. Pentiment. What do you yeah. know about this game? Uh, this is the new game from Obsidian Entertainment, one of my favorite developers. Uh, it yeah. came out it came out very, very recently, November 15th, 2022, uh, published by Xbox Game Studios, of course, because Obsidian is now owned by them, uh, which means it is on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Windows PC. Uh, I know it's on Steam, and I know it's 20 bucks, but other than that, I don't really know anything about Pentiment. Bobby, what is Pentiment exactly? I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, I'm about an hour and some change into Pentiment. This came out, I think you just said it, it came out on the 15th of November, mm -hmm. or 16th. Um, so I haven't had a ton of time to play with this yet, but this is a, uh, a narrative RPG, choices matter game that is set in like 15th century, uh, I believe we're in Germany or about around that area. And you are playing as a journeyman who is on their way to becoming a master, looking for a wife, looking for a house, and uh, in typical, in typical Obsidian fashion, they have crafted quite the story here that you get to watch unfold. And I think right out of the gates, Chase, we can probably just call out the striking visual, stylistic choices of this game. Uh, it is a a looker, and yeah, uh, I'm I'm. I got lost in the Abbey, which is arguably like the biggest area I've been in the game so far. Um, at this point of the quick look, I'll, I'm just getting to know the townsfolk. Um, at this point in the game, the people that you were living with were like, hey, taxes have gone up. We could use some, some of your rent money now. Can you do anything about it? And I've been trying to figure out how to get an advance on the project that I'm working for for the church. And I have just gotten that advance, and uh, I was going to go back and pay the folks that I owe money to, but I was able to get that advance, Chase, because I picked the right choices when I did my character's background, and okay. um, I don't think there is a way to see those choices, but the game will ask you to talk a little bit about... Um, your character, like where you studied at, what did you study? Um, and those will have impacts on your dialect, on the conversations that you can have with people in the game. And it opens up new branching dialogue. Uh, the game has a really impressive, uh, let me see if I can get the pop up here. A little bit there, not as much when you're like in the midst of a conversation, but uh, they've got a really cr uh, great font engine on how they are having you talk with people. So you don't see it here, but Klaus is actually um, more of a, a typeset printer. And you can see it, his font that comes up when it first showed up. It, it was an actual like typeset. Here you can see a little bit different. Uh, that sure. mm -hmm. God, God being highlighted in red... Um, doesn't have any impact on anything besides just a visual key, but a lot of the times uh, in the game when you're talking with people, if there is something that's underlined or in red, um, you'll have an option to pull up a little bit more of a codex on what that is. So let me see if I can get back and uh, pay pay the man, Harry, and uh, go from there, which that's Big George. This is our, is this our house? Yeah, here we go. So I owe Clara, who I'm living with some money, and you'll see how this will start to play out. Uh, also, spoilers for anybody who wants to be pure going into this. My story sure. might feel different than your story. But as you can see here, Andreas has the money. And that's how the font looks like when it's filling in here. And you're going to see that kind of like soaks into the page. There's some neat things that you'll notice when you are watching. the. F There's no uh, voiceover in this game. But the way that people write. They'll even make mistakes where you'll see them like misspell something and then it'll correct itself. And I don't know if that's going to play into the broader strokes of what the story unfolds into, which is, spoiler alert, a murder mystery. Um, on, like, 
I'm thinking a little bit about the LA Noir, like some of the cues that you could read with folks. So I'm wondering if they're going to do, because like even here, like if you look at the font where it says accept this, that to me looks very different than the rest of the way things were written here. And so it might just be aesthetics. Sure. It could be something else there. Um, but interesting. So this is what it looks like when you start to get choices. Um, ah, perfect. So you can see that I had a mistake there. That E just got changed where I had to go in and correct it. But you can see Peter is a dotted underline. That means that I've already learned who Peter is. But at any moment, if you're playing on a controller, if you hit the select button, it zooms out. And you get this really great pointer. Wow, that, yeah. That uh, is, well, yes, the, the pointer is very good, but I also like these three cats in the corner. Yeah. This is great. So where it has Peter selected, anytime it's a person, what I love about this is it actually shows you Peter. So that person is Peter. Um, okay. Where, where if it was like a location or an event, it'll actually have a block of text that goes into it. This is where we get to be a bit nerdy, Chase. The amount of historical work that Obsidian did for this game is astounding. And they they referenced the books in-game that they went over. There's a lot of really interesting things happening here. So then you just press that. And then you can pull this up at any, any moment if you want to zoom around on the page. Uh, I can then pan and read a little bit more about what's going on. Um, yeah, just read a little bit of that to me. Uh... You speak Latin, right? I see cum. Well, <laughs> all right. There you go. Um, so anyway, we're back in here. We're making a choice. Uh, please, it's the least that I can do. You and Peter have been such gracious hosts. Consider the rest a gift. Then in addition to my rent, I insist it's enough to pay back the abbot. Yes, I'm going to go with this top one here. Um, but Andreas, how did you find so much coin? Are you sure you'll have enough to spare for yourself? Don't worry about me, Claire. I'll be fine. I convinced Brother Matthew to pay me a bit. So here, if you wanted to see who that was, there he is. Yeah, Brother Matthew, looking looking good. He was not thrilled that I asked for an advance, by the way, but he gave it to <laughs> me and said, this is the last time, jerk. Um, but I wanted to be sure you could pay your taxes in time. You don't know what this means to us. I'm happy to help. It's the Christian thing to do. It's probably best not to mention it. Of course, I won't mention it to anyone. Still, thank you. I'll move on. Uh, I'll let you move on with your day. God bless you. Until later. So then you always get the X to signify that that's over. It goes back out. And now uh, I've paid my taxes in full, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner. And I am off to do more great work. Um, there's just so much like really good attention to detail in this game that I've, I just really think that they've done something pretty remarkable with what, what this is. Like it is an RPG, absolutely an mm -hmm. RPG. You're making choices that matter in typical Obsidian fashion. They will remember that. Those are things that will pop up, how you interact with people, how you treat people. Your background has the ability to let you skill check out of conversations. Um, I like Ill Peter also. Uh, he's a nice guy. He hangs out with the pigs. But I, I think that the world that they've crafted, too, is just really, really something here. Do, uh, do you feel like you get disoriented with the the way it zooms out and zooms in to all the book pages? Or are you still finding you're navigating the world pretty comfortably? I like that because it's letting me know that I'm moving on to something. Um, okay. I, I can I can back out. Look at that fox. That's really good. Um, good stuff. Like at any point in time, like I can pull back on the page um, mm -hmm. if I'd like to. But it also just lets me know, like here, we're like, okay, we're moving. That's the loading screen. So it's it is essentially like moving things forward and and the way it needs to. And uh, I, I dig that for sure. The one thing that um, so there's not a whole lot. Like I, that's the start menu. And if I mm -hmm. zoom out or if I press the select button, this is it. So like I, at this point in time, in this quick look, I don't know what to do next. Um, Cause I, I did the only quest, which was paying my rent early. Um, so I'm kind of exploring this and taking things in. 
so far the world has been pretty intricate. I don't think I've been up here to the mill yet. We can go check that out. Oh, did not mean to do that. Go back to the mill. Uh, load times on PC are really good. It's moving pretty quick. Uh, this is... So, also, because I'm having more of a story beat or a, a lengthy interaction, it frames it up as such versus just a quick pop-up like it was in the overworld there. Okay. Ah, here we go. So, that symbol, based off of what you pick when you are... Uh, when you like getting the backstory of your character, there'll be some symbols by your choices. They pop up like this here. Um, so you've got paint beneath your fingernails and an artist physique. There, because I chose that as my part of my background, I'm like, beyond like, obviously, you're a journeyman studying and doing that, you can go a little bit deeper on things. And that was what Linhart here has identified, which is neat. Uh, they're farmers. You expect them to act like kings. And I've really been trying to lean into um, what the the role play. Like, I picked certain things about my character, and I'm trying to answer questions that I feel reflect those those choices. Mm -hmm. There's Eva, Eva, Eva. Chase, what do you like best about Obsidian? Uh, man, it's, it's a, it's a pretty close tie between Knights of the Republic 2 and, uh, Fall of New Vegas, but it, it, I'd probably give it to, to KOTOR 2. And are you just like, obviously you're probably a big fan of the writing and the story that they handle some of the storytelling. Yeah, I think they've, they've generally had some, some solid writing over the time. Um, I mean, with the, the two examples I gave, I just feel like they took games that other developers started with bioware in the case of nicer republic and and uh, bethesda in the case of fallout and found ways of making their games more interesting not necessarily better but they were they from from both a story standpoint finding a, a more gray sort of uh definitely more shades to that than i than i felt like you got in the original KOTOR or Fallout 3, but also just a more mechanically diverse world that was really interesting in, in both of those. I, I just think they, I, I said this on one of our podcasts that we did, but I, I think they make games better than your developer can, makes game, can yeah, make I, games. I think that's fair. And this is an interesting game too. Like I feel like this is, this is what Obsidian looks like with just complete creative control over a, a mm -hmm. scenario. And I, I'm I'm here for it. Uh, this, this is what this I, is a very different thing from oh, yeah from the games that they've made in the past. I mean, not that not that they've made a bunch of super huge blockbusters, but this is the I think this is the smallest thing I think that they've made in a very long while. And it kind of came out of nowhere because the if you think about what they've announced so far, like they've announced uh, Avowed and they've announced the Outer. Why is it the outer worlds or outer wilds? I always get this mixed up with them. It's worlds. Okay, they've announced a sequel to that game, mm -hmm. and then this game they announced, and it came out relatively quick after they they showcased it. Right, um, and and they're treating grounded like a like a semi live service game at the very least. Like they're they're giving pretty regular updates to that game. So they're Obsidian is busy. I'm I'm surprised they even had enough of a team to make this. I know this is a small team. I think you said it was 12 people or so. Yeah, 12 people took this to work. And uh, it just seems like a, a very big passion project for them. Mm -hmm. there, there was one thing I was gonna try and show you. It might be, is it in here? No. Um, I'm not gonna do much more on, on this quick look, by the way, because there's just, there's a very intimate level to, yeah, I mean, the, I, I think we've seen what this game is. Yeah, I also I'm just like very lost in the Abbey, but <laughs> I, I came I, I came across one thing where it was like more of an interactive object, and it seemed like it was going to be a little bit more of a a puzzle, and it's like you need to find something in the area that would help you kind of use this as a decipher. So I I, I don't think that there's any combat um, or any sort of 
things like that. But I do think that this is going to become you needing to solve a, a pretty serious case or an event. And um, I'm also wondering how difficult that might be or if they introduce more tools. Because like I said, this is kind of it right now. So if there is, hey, I talked to this person at the cemetery. They said this. Like, I don't really have anything I can reference in a journal. So sure. I, want, I wonder if this is something that like I'm going to have to start making some notes on. Um, yeah, or, or just pulling up a guide. Yeah, for sure. But it is something that I, I, I would like to see. Oh, here we go. This is what it is. So I still don't know the significance of the Vovel. Uh, it must be used to decipher something, but what? So I haven't figured out the other piece of this, but it kind of showed this moving around and the uh, alphabet that goes with it. So this is going to be some puzzling that will come into it. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more things like this. Um, I am at a disadvantage. I just like I wanted to do something quick with this, um, mm -hmm. but I have not put a ton of time in it to see it kind of unfolds and will change. But if you are interested in following along with maybe some updates on what this game is or isn't, uh, we'll be talking about this on our, our podcast, The Casual Hour, which we record every Wednesday at 1030 p.m. Central on twitch.tv slash The Casual Hour. Um, if you are into watching people play games and kind of stumble through solving problems, uh, we do that on Mondays and Fridays on that same Twitch channel at also the same time, 10.30 p.m. Central. And if you just want to hear us and not really watch us talk about things, you can just go to anywhere that you listen to your podcast, subscribe to our show, The Casual Hour, and we put new episodes out every Friday morning. Uh, Chase, I, I know that you've got more means than ever to play video games. Um, I, I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. I think that you will really dig what it's doing. I think the writing is very well done and it's a very unique thing for, uh, for the studio. And I think it's them at kind of their, like I mentioned earlier, like they're most free when it comes to what they can do. Sure. And, and I mean, we mentioned it is, it is $20 on steam. Uh, and also Xbox as well, but this game is also part of Game Pass, both uh, both Xbox and PC Game Pass. Yes. So you can go pick this up if you have that uh, right now at no additional cost. And uh, I I would recommend doing it. Uh, Twenty bucks I think is more than a fair price for it, but Game Pass is a great a great place for it. Also, uh, Chase, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I know this is kind of an odd quick look it's very surface level for us but i wanted to make sure that we at least showed the game off and encourage people to uh check this thing out on their own so uh thanks for hanging out with me and thanks for checking out pentiment thank you